Welcome, welcome again to the Rick Helps Real Estate Show. Here we are, firing off on a wonderful Monday. And it's supposed to be 101 today, and it's October 16th. Please, please, weather gods, I've had enough. <laughs> I'm going to Payson tomorrow. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to catch a break. So what we're going to talk about today is the actual numbers of what we're seeing in the Arizona real estate market. Uh, some of it's a little lagging. I'm going to explain it when I see it. And then towards the end, I'm gonna, it's, we are in the early stages of predicting season. When everybody says, well, here's what 2024 is going to be like. Now, um, you got to take those with a grain of salt because at the end of the year, I always go back and look and see what the big dog said and how accurate they were. I, I think Zillow's changed their prediction like three times already. So that's kind of fun to look at. So that's what happens in October. The other thing that happens in October is if you're over 65 like me, your mailbox is full of Medicare plans for for open enrollment every day you get about 10 of these things it's, it's you thought real estate agents sent a lot of junk mail these medicare people like oh yeah well hold my beer um so it's really interesting so let's get right to it here and this is my seven day moving average that those of you that watch the show you're used to and this is showing contracts down here on the bottom and this top number is new listings you can see that a couple weeks ago that they started climbing new listings, which I can only attest that to being seasonal people wanting to list their homes before the holidays. And they've backed off somewhat this past seven days and have come down. But the gap here is big enough to where it's making our active listings grow. And as you can see in the ticker below, that we're sitting there at uh, 14,000. We haven't been at 14,000 for a Monday um, <clears throat> in more than a year. So... And it, as you can see by the last chart, it's not because we're getting more new listings. It's just because the homes that are sitting on the market are they're staying there. They're they're not uh, some some areas they're moving, some price points they're moving, but it's very slow with only 2,200 active contracts on a seven day period. Then uh, this happens. So this is the one that I say is kind of lagging right now. It's showing us at 12,801. It hasn't been updated today. So I show that we have 2,000 more listings than that. But what is accurate is the rate of which they're going up. So 10,099 up to 11,200, 11,500. So anywhere from 200 to 400 a week, which is going to make me kind of stick to my guns that says, you know, maybe by February we'll be at that 20,000 number. It's going to be interesting to watch. The other thing, Cromford Market Index here. I'm showing Chandler because it has been the big dog. It's been the winner in this as far as the seller's market for the past few years. Um, and it's it's coming down. It's still a, considered a seller's market sitting there at 201. Uh, but it, it is sliding sliding down. And we're seeing that across the board. If we go to, uh, uh, let's see, let's see what going on here in Glendale there sitting there at 181 but it's the outlying areas like Queen Creek that are really getting hammered on the C on the CMI they're at 91 so you are a buyer's market in Queen Creek and anywhere where there's a lot more new construction that's what we're seeing there's just more choices Gilbert you're sitting here at 170 so that's just uh Kind of a quick overview of what's going on in some of the cities around here. And here is closings over list price is now at 21%. And the majority of those are in the price range between 300000 and 500000 And if we look at it, the average is um, uh, somewhere around 5000 So, But even that's hard to say. So let's take a look at this one. Here's one that 5000 and it says minimum over list was a dollar and the maximum was 73,000. So I don't really know what that even tells you here. And Sean's saying, where do you think home, in home inventory will plateau at? <sighs> Depends on what kind of a spring we have, Sean. I think, I think we're going to end up at 20,000 by, by February. Um, normal's 27,000. Um, if we don't see any relief in rates, which I'm kind of all over the map. You look, I'm a real estate agent. I'm not an economist. I can't predict this stuff. Um, those that say they can, you usually don't bother to share any real numbers with you. So it's, it's anybody's guess 
all we can do is watch it and uh, and see what happens now um the other number that i look at now why did these all disappear they went back and forth my charts here here is the cromford demand index and notice how they're getting closer in other words demand is coming down and about to meet inventory when those cross um, you'll see prices go down now I also have what I call my on my seven day moving average the uh, rate of the dividing the two where it's 63 percent so we should right now be seeing prices coming down and they are they came down like 1.2 percent last month uh, the months of supply here is starting to grow 2.4 well below normal still and here's the Cromford market index here on sales that's the total here's here's demand this is what's really been a problem it's demand is way down there and supply is edging up ever so slowly not much not much going on now when we get into prediction season this gets kind of fun um, You've got Mortgage Bankers Association. There's uh, and an interesting side note on this. There are three um, associations, Mortgage Bankers Association, uh, the National Association of Realtors, and uh, somebody else is just escaping me here. They wrote a letter to the Fed saying, you, you know, you need to stop raising rates. And I, I find that kind of comical. <laughs> I don't think Chairman Powell's going... Oh crap! All oh, oh, those guys are getting uh, they're getting nervous. Guy, back off! We can't raise rates. We got three associations that are asking us to stop. I wish they were that powerful, and they've got bigger fish to fry than to worry about whether or not real estate agents and associations think that rates are too high. Um, so let's see what happens. Do you think he's going to pull rates down next week because of the letter? Will MBA Mortgage Bankers Association forecast? Mortgage originations to increase 19% next year. Interesting, huh? They were at their 2023 annual convention and expo. I wasn't invited. Um, the job market will likely slow as we enter 2024 with fewer jobs added and the unemployment rate increasing from its current rate of 3.8% to 5%. By the end of 2024, inflation will gradually decline towards the Fed's 2% target by the middle of 2025. They go on again to say that they're predicting a mild recession. Now, if we get into the details here, here's where it gets interesting. Now, keep in mind, as I show you this, and I'm going to try and make this a little bit bigger here, that they predicted that interest rates in December of this year would be 5.9%. How many think that's going to happen? If we look at this and we look at their interest rates, now they're saying at Q4, we're going to be at 7.2. That's a far cry from their original 5.9, isn't it? So what are they saying going forward? Well, going all the way out to the end of next year, they're saying that rates are going to be at 6.1. We were supposed to be below that this year. So when I look at these numbers and these predictors, I go, Oh, okay, that's interesting. I don't believe you. Um, 2025, they're going to be 5.5. So their original 5.9 here that they said we were going to see this December has been pushed out to Q1 of 2025. So uh, they don't go out any farther than that. Well, they did go out to 2026, 5.4%. 5 .4%. I don't know how anybody can predict interest rates going out three years nice try i guess they all sat around in the room and said hey what about this now here's the big dogs here folks fanny may is saying that uh, real estate is oh core logic says we're going to be up 3.4 percent next year that's their housing forecast now they haven't been right yet folks they, they just haven't they haven't nailed it they need to watch some of these crash bros they're they're not uh they're not looking at the right data oh wait that's right a lot of those guys don't share data. Fannie Mae up 2.8% for the year. Freddie Mac, 0 0.08. Interesting, the two government uh, entities here are that far off by 2%. MBA, Mortgage Banker Association, saying house prices will be up 1.1. Those are the accurate interest rate people there. Uh, let's see, there isn't anything there from NAHB, but Zillow says... 4.9 next year. 
That's what Zillow is telling us is going to happen to home prices. Very interesting. Now, finally, on this one, housing groups urge the Fed to stop raising interest rates as the industry suffers. So they sent him a letter, and here we'll tell you who it was. It was Mortgage Bankers Association, National Association of Realtors, and they're getting the crap kicked out of them right now. Um, you know, we've got that class action lawsuit, and a lot of brokerages are actually pulling away from the National Association of Realtors, NAR, and the National Association of Home Builders. They expressed a profound concern with the central bank that ongoing market uncertainty about the Fed's path is contributing to rising interest rates and volatility. In other words, if you could just be more clear and let us know what you're doing, uh, we'd feel better about it. <laughs> I don't see anything coming out of that letter. I saw an interesting thing in uh, um, in a Facebook real estate group over the weekend. It's got to be a new agent. He asked the question, is there a creative way to announce a price reduction? <laughs> creative way how do you how do you do i mean when you put in a price reduction on the mls it shows up as priced reduced um i don't know where do you put a bunch of facebook posts out do you get a, a a good meme um just reduce the price <laughs> it doesn't need to be creative so that's uh i, I found that to be very um I don't, I don't want to use the word comical yes i will i'll use the word comical um, it's uh, oh hey yesterday I went to a six hour barbecue class. Thank you for inviting me, Lisa. That was fun. It was uh, how to smoke. We smoked uh, little pork loins, um, chicken, uh, pork ribs, and some vegetables, and uh, learned how to barbecue steaks. Uh, so I am a barbecue fanatic now. I I have been cooking food wrong my whole life and uh, it was fun but the reason i tell you that i still smell hickory smoke you know it gets up your nose and and i'm gonna be that way probably for several days so it was a lot of fun it was a good way to spend the weekend so uh, now my goal on this channel is to keep you up to date on what's going on with our current numbers so that you can see so you can make your own decisions um you know a lot of people call me a, a propagandist you know bye 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 right but no um I just think you need to be armed with information. So if you, as a real estate agent, I just have access to more data points than you do. But you can still go and look at Zillow research. You can look at Redfin research. Redfin has some pretty good um, tools in there if you want to take a look at that. But as real estate agents, um, I pay a, a monthly subscription for the Cromford report. They haven't been updated too much right now because the gentleman that, compiles all the numbers and stuff he's been traveling this week so he's not updating the numbers for us until the 17th until tomorrow so i'll have more information there then there's another national one called altos that real estate agents uh, can buy their data as well but that's more national data uh, the cromford people are just local arizona and in our market so not the entire state of arizona but that's what we look at here and that's what i like to share everybody Take on the day and have a fantastic week. Talk to you later.